This is freaking delicious. Ah. Did you ever play in a sandbox as a kid? Well, it's time to get that sandbox out again because we are going to build a Japanese sandbox grill. Today, we are going to build a Japanese sandbox grill. And if you never heard of it, Morsen is going to edit in a picture about here. Where? Here. Like there. Okay, yeah. Yeah? Got it. Got it. That's what it looks like in Japan. And basically, it's a, a, a lowered part in a room where they have a charcoal fire going. You can cook there. It's for heating. It's for all kinds of purposes. It's for sitting around. And we don't know about these things, but they're super, super, super cool for grilling. And there are currently restaurants in the world which you cannot get into, I cannot get into. They're so exclusive just because of this grilling method. So I guess you and me, we just have to make one ourselves. And I don't think it's going to be that hard. For our build, we're going to need one rustic table, four old beams, a wheelbarrow full of sand and good quality charcoal. Now, let's start building. It's like a Japanese garden, except for it's now my Japanese sandbox grill. And I want it to look absolutely immaculate. That's nice. This thing is called an irori. And this is the place where we are going to make yakitori. And yakitori is Japanese for grilled chicken. I'm strategically placing the big block charcoal in the sand, creating opening and air pockets in the charcoal. And I'm adding two fire starters. Once I got my charcoal built up, I'm lighting it up. Now we'll wait for it to burn down until we got our charcoal nice and white hot. Oh, this fire is nice and hot and it's ready for grilling. But there's a secret to getting a fire working this well. If you use cheap charcoal, light charcoal, it's not gonna work that well. It's just gonna burn down, fall apart. But look at our charcoal. It's standing up, it's white, it still has a lot of energy. That's because I'm using hard wood alum charcoal. And this is the kind of stuff that they use in Japan. In Japan it's called Binchitan and it's made from a super, super hard tree. Now, we might not have that available, but the next big thing... You guys guessed it! My favorite charcoal, big block. This is getting hot. It's time to start working on our chicken and the rest of our ingredients so we can start cooking. We'll start with a chicken rub, consisting of salt, pepper, garlic and onion powder. Now we'll move on to our yakitori sauce. For our yakitori sauce, we're gonna fry up some fresh herbs, consisting of garlic, ginger, pepper, a little bit of spring onion. And once they're nice and fried and the fragrances are spreading out, and just before that garlic is about to burn, we're going to add sake. We're going to let that reduce. Then we'll add fish sauce, hoisin sauce, a little bit of honey, and finally some soy sauce. Mix it all together and put it in a jar. And your yakitori sauce is ready to go. Let's give that a quick try. Oh, bold flavors. I like it. This is gonna be perfect for our yakitori chicken. This is a kilo of small chicken drumsticks, otherwise known as drumettes. We're going to stick them on an in water soaked bamboo skewer and then season them with our white chicken rub. When we got everything well seasoned up, it's time to hit the grill. All right, let's get this party started. Oh, 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 careful now. Don't want to mess it up at this point. Besides, you think a Japanese person would mess this up? I don't think so. Mess Japanese master chefs, they got this down to an art. I'm sticking the chicken really close to the fire into the sand. And that's the cool thing about this grill. You can put your, this is gonna, <laughs> I was gonna say you can put your meat everywhere. So we can stick all of that chicken around the fire and slowly let it cook. And the chicken is gonna be cooked so cleanly just with radiation heat. And once we get a crispy skin, we can move it backwards and let it cook even more. Our chicken is planted, our fire is hot. 
let the heat do its work. Like this is just way too much fun. These Japanese guys, they gotta figure out, man. <laughs> it's like playing checkers and it looks so good. And once the chicken is done, you just baste it with a little bit of that yakitori sauce that we made. And look, you can sit around and grill the chicken all day and just building up your charcoal. This is playing, this is fun. And for the guys that are saying like, oh, pit master X, it's too big. I can't make something like this, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got a solution. Look at this tray. This is just an aluminum tray, sand in it, a little bit of charcoal in it, and your chicken. <laughs> you can do this at your balcony. No more excuses. Dude, you can do this indoors. Don't tell me I told you so. Don't tell them I told you so. Who's them? I don't know, the, the food police, the guys that are watching. I know they're out there. And with all this cooking, I just got hungry. First gonna try one of these chickens. I set this one aside because it just looks so good. I'm not going to say anything more about it. I'm just gonna eat. It's hot. It's hot. Oh man. And juicy. Mm. Oh. This is freaking delicious. Uh, oh. Oh. I like the rub. I like the rub. I really like the rub. It's so simple. I think I just reinvented chicken. Oh man. This chicken is freaking delicious. A little bit of pepper. It's like super, super slow roasted. A little bit of saltiness. Like infrared radiating heat going into the chicken and cooking it within the skin slowly. Well, gotta be honest, th th there's not that much smoke flavor, but it's really ju juicy and tender. With all of those beautiful flavors on the outside and the pepper and the salt. It works so well together. I gotta try another one. This is really good. And if the yakitori sauce is really good. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Wow. 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 Instantly you get that sauce, that, mm, that yakitori sauce. You give me another one. No. It's like boom, hits you. Mm. But then you get the rub as well. And then after that you get chicken. Man. I love it. Why do we keep it on the stick? You know, you know what I think, Morrison? Oh, that's sand. <laughs> I don't mind. Let's eat the sand, Morrison. Honestly, I don't mind. Mm. I think if you eat like with rice or something to go with it, it's better with yakitori sauce. But if you get a mountain of chicken, I love it. Just eat it without the yakitori sauce. If you're just doing beers and chickens, chicken, chicken drumettes, then just go for pepper, salt, garlic, onion. I like the purity of, of the one without the sauce. Well, if you get something to go with it, definitely put on the yakitori sauce. A little bit of rice. With the sauce or without the sauce? That's a hard one. That's a really hard one. We need to clear this table, Morrison. Cool, you gotta choose for me. I can't choose between these two. I think that that, that piece wants to say me something. It wants me to eat it. No, it doesn't. I want to thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed me playing in a sandbox. Thank you guys. Give us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Don't forget to visit our website www.pitmasterx.com. You can find all of the details there. See you guys next time. Big thanks to patrons and YouTube members. Eat smuggling. Keep on grilling. That's right. Yakitori style. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun to play in the sandbox, Marcia. What's the last time you played in the sandbox? They're totally in your cheek. It's okay. I know, it doesn't matter. It makes me happy. Can I eat this one? I'm in a sandbox. You can eat whatever you want now. You freaked me out. Yeah. How good you feel? It really is good. It's insane. You're dropping the um, toothpicks on my uh, lap. Yeah, you heard me. I gotta go to bed. No, you don't care about me. The only thing you care about right now is the chicken. Yeah.